Welcome to Kiran's Learner Academy. Dear students, we are over here to prepare for the banking, bank PO exams or SBI exams, SBI clerical as the exam form is out. So we are trying to, with the help of this platform, we are trying to provide you different chapters for the reasoning so that it would be quite helpful for you in the banking exam so that you can clear it of the sectional cutoff as well and the overall cutoff as well. So let's start with the first topic today that is ranking or arrangement. Ranking and arrangement is a quite necessary or important chapter for the bank view because definitely we will get a com combination of two to three questions or maximum up to five questions because the question is not based on the single thing. The thing is that we will get the paragraph for at least four uh, as a kind of story on which we have to solve at least four to five questions so that becomes a quite big part and if we are able to solve the simple puzzle then we can easily get four to five score so that becomes a quite important part so what we have to understand in ranking first of all the ranking is done that is means the arrangement is done on the two bases first is your linear arrangement and then is your circular arrangement these are the two arrangements we will be dealing with in the linear arrangement we have further two types first is your horizontal and the other one is your vertical horizontal means we are t we will be making the arrangement in left to right or right to left direction and the vertical up to down or down to up this left will be our left and this is our right similarly this will be the top and this will be the bottom. The thing remains the same whether it is the horizontal arrangement or the vertical arrangement. There is no much difference just the differences of the terms. We can say that instead of left we can use the top word for that and instead of right we can use the bottom word. So that means the one and the same thing. The only formula that works in this topic is just this one that if you have a total find the total number of students in any of the row or any of the total number of objects sitting in the linear arrangement whether it is horizontal or vertical that becomes the position from the left plus position of the right minus one these two position which are we are calculating from the left end and the right end has to be for the one object it cannot be for the two different objects then this formula is not applicable for example if i am talking about one person a whose position is known to me from the left end and is 13th and from the position of its position only from the right is 14 so this is the one person whose right and left end positions are given so this formula is applicable in this case the other case if I consider suppose this is an arrangement in which A's position is given from 13 from the left and B's position is given 14 from the right so these are there are two there are two positions one is from the left and other from the right but for the two different objects so this formula cannot be applied in this situation so this we have to be very careful and if this formula if we use in the terms of vertical then instead of left I can use the top word and instead of right I can use the bottom word and rest remains the same this is the only formula that we can use otherwise if we go for the formula in every situation the formula is different so it becomes very difficult for us to remember each and every formula so let's start with the question so that we can have an idea how the questions will come and how we can approach them to solve them correctly let's start with the first one first question says study the following information carefully and answer the question that which follow there are five men Anuj, Kunal, Saurav, Rahul and Harish means they are talking about the five persons the one who is tallest is not the youngest that means they are talking about two variables first is the tallest and means height and next is the youngest that means age so we have to arrange them according to the first is height and then according to the age Kunal is older than only Harish means Harish is there and Kunal is there. Uh, this part shows that ki, uh, we don't have any other person 
uh, older than Kunal. Then Saurav is older than Rahul. And we have next part that Anuj is younger than only Saurav and Rahul. That means we have Anuj over here. Then th this we have arranged according to the age. Let's arrange according to the height. Then first is said the one who is tallest is not the youngest. Means Harish cannot be the tallest. Next we have Saurav is shorter than Rahul. Saurav is shorter than Rahul. Next we have only one person is taller than Rahul. So rest will be shorter than him. Next is that Anuj is the shortest. Anuj we have to arrange are the shortest. While younger than only Saurav. This we are done with that. Only two men are shorter than Saurav. So we have one person over here. The other person is over here. So we have to fill the two blanks. But we know that Harish is not the tallest. So that means Harish will be over here. And who will be the tallest is Kunal. So this ends with the sequence and we have to tell which is the third tallest of the five. That means we have Saurav. The option will be first. Next we have who the among men is the tallest that is Kunal. So we will be ending with the third part. Next we have if the five men are made to stand in a line according to the height. First in the ascending order, then in the descending order, then whose position will remain the same in both the arrangement? That means the person who is in the middle. Then who is in the middle is, who is in the middle is Saurav. According to the height, then answer will be fourth. Next comes, who among is the following is older than Kunal but younger than Rahul. Older than Kunal, older tha than Kunal, but younger than Rahul. That means he is Anuj. So we are going to mark the answer as Anuj. That means third answer. Next question we have. The f uh, these questions are based on letter symbols or number arrangement. So there is a sequence given to us. Now we have to solve it. How many such symbols are there in the above arrangement, each of which is immediately preceded by a number and also immediately followed by a vowel? So, means that what sequence we need is a symbol and preceded by a number and then vowel should be there. So, if we go on, what we have is this. This we have preceded by a number and then vowel and any other symbol which is preceded by the vowel we can see that succeeded by the vowel there is no other symbol in which we have succeeded so we have only one that is six hash and e so we have option number two next question we have which element is fifth to the right of 13th from the right end when we have two rights or the two same directions, then we have to subtract so that we can get the net element. So it means that net is right and we have to calculate 13 minus 5. That means 8 from the right end and 8 from the right end if we go on then we will get a J. So the answer is J. That means none of these because J was not there. Next question, uh, which of the following in place of the question mark in the following series based on the above arrangement? That means T hash and 6. If we go back to the series, T hash and 6 means we have to do plus 2 and then minus 1. T we are going till 7, 7 to we are going L. If we go from T to 7, T to 7, then we have 3 alphabets in between. That means we have to do plus 4. And then 7 
to L that means again plus 4 then L we have to do plus 4 it means if we from L we do plus 4 then we will get at the rate then we have hash K and then 3 if we are going from hash to K from hash to k again we have three elements that means we are going to plus four and then from k to three we again have three elements in between that means we have to do plus four so that's why from three also we will do plus four and what element we are going to get that is that capital a similarly from six to dollar and dollar to percentage we are doing plus four plus 4 and dollar uh, percent sorry percentage to plus 4 we will get 2 the answer is at the rate a 2 as we don't have any option then we will go for none of these next which element is third to the left of 10th from the left hand so we have the same alphabets so that means left and left so from the left hand in the order to find the net number then we subtract 10 minus 3 that will give you 7 that means we have to go 7 from the left end if we go 7 from the left end that we get the dollar sign then the answer will be dollar that means fourth next question next question we have how many such letters are there in the given arrangement each of which is immediately preceded by a symbol that means symbol then we need a letter but there should be num not a number number should not be there in this case how many things are there symbol letter but not a number so if we go on symbol and then letter symbol and letter but we have a number so we will not count this then symbol num letter and not a number one and symbol symbol letter we need that it won't work then symbol letter is not there then again symbol letter and not a number symbol letter and not a number so we have three things in this so we are going to mark the answer as three that means option number fourth let's come to the next question next question we have Four of the following are alike in a certain way based on their positions in a given arrangement so forms a group. Which of the following does not form a group? If we talk about K, L and S, K, L and dollar, if we go from K to L that means we are adding 2 and if we are going from L to dollar that means we are, minus, we are subtracting minus 3. We are going backwards in the third place. Similarly, P to 2 and 2 to 3 then P plus if we do the plus 2 we will get 2 and if we 2 we get 3 minus 3 then we are getting 3 and then similarly 2 plus 2 will give you J and J minus 3 will give you at the rate similarly L plus 2 will give you 3 but minus 3 will give you I 4 4 plus 3 is giving you D and D minus 2 is giving you star. So this is a different which is going a different way. Rest all we have plus 2 and minus 3. So therefore answer will be option number 5. Next we have if all the numbers are removed from the given arrangement which element will be 9th from the left end. So Accordingly, what we arrangement we get? This number is eliminated. This is gone. This is not there. This is not there. We have to remove all the numbers. So, this is the arrangement we are left with. And we have to calculate the 9th from the left end. So, if we count the left, we have 4, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. So, the answer will be first. That is percentage. Next, we have, we have an arrangement of 8 persons. As sitting around the circular table. So this is the second type of arrangement we saw. Till now we were doing simple linear arrangement. Now we have a circular arrangement question. 
facing the center at equal distances from the each other but not necessarily in the same order each of them belongs to different areas we have eight areas then we have to make them arranged so we have eight persons first is that w is sitting third right of y if i make y over here then we have to make thir third to the left so left part is this 1 2 and 3 we get w over here next is the person who is from dwarka is to the immediate right of w the immediate right of w is this part and that person belongs to dwarka but w is not from okla so not statements are to be done at the last so we are leaving that marking it off then we have b is sitting fourth to the right of z but z is not the immediate neighbor of y so z we don't have to make it sit like this because it is not the immediate neighbor we can make him sit over here so if we go over there that let's see that z is this so b is fourth to the right right means the anti clockwise direction 1 2 3 and 4 so we have b over here next is that neither b or nor z and is an immediate neighbor of w so we get that thing then x is from chanakyapuri x is from chanakyapuri and it's a thing third to the right of the person who is from dwarka third to the right 1 2 and 3 so we get x is over here and he is from chanakyapuri then the person from mehroli is second to the left of the person from chanakyapuri chanakyapuri is x means we have to go second to the left that means b we b is from mehroli next is the person from rohini is sitting second to the left of w second to the left of w means z so z is from rohini then a person a who is from lajpat nagar is sitting exactly between x and z so he will be over here and he is from lajpat nagar it is very much clear then the person from saket is sitting to the second right of the lajpat nagar lajpat means nagar means a and it and the person who is from saket is to the second right one and two right that means it is from saket next is this next what we have c is sitting third to the left of x third left of the two x means it c is from dwarka and now what we are left with the alphabets we are left with that is that with d so d is from saket and now the negation statement which we left earlier was w is from okla is not from okla that means y is from okla and w is from karol bag the only area left next we have who among the following belongs to okla that is y that means option number second next what is a's position with respect to b b with respect to a it is means that he's uh, a's position is third to the right of b either fifth to the left of b third to the right of d that means first option next comes how many people are sitting between z and c when counted in anti clockwise direction from c so we have to count see the counting from c in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction from c till z we have four persons namely b y x and a so the answer will be fourth next question for four of the following pairs are like in certain based on their position in the above arrangement so form a group which does not belongs to the group b is from mehroli not for rohini next we have z is from mehroli d is from okla y is from saket and x is from dwarka so let's see b is from rohini 
B Rohini means the person sitting opposite to B belongs to Rohini. This is the sequence. Next we have Z Mehroli. Z from Mehroli. So Z is from Mehroli. It's the B. That means the person opposite sitting to Z is from Mehroli. So the sequence is working out. Next we have D and Okla. D and Okla. The D and Y. Y is from Okla and D is opposite to Y. So this is also working. Next question we have Y from Saket. So Y is from Okla and the who is sitting opposite is D and he is from Saket. So this is also working out. The last option we are left with is the X from Dwarka. Let's see. X is from Chanukya Puri, but he is sitting opposite to W, who is from Karolvag, not from Dwarka. So the option will be the last one, that is the fifth option. Next, comma. Which of the following is false according to the above arrangement? C is immediate left, immediate right to the person who is from Karolvag. That is the correct part because C is immediate. C is immediate right. Of W who is from Karolvag. Next is that the person from Lajpat Nagar is third to the right of the person from Mehroli. This is also correct. Reason being B is from Mehroli and B, let's see it once, B is from Mehroli and third right is A that is from Lajpat Nagar. That is also correct. Then the third, the person from Dwarka is sitting exactly between Karolvag and Saket. Let's see it. Dwarka is sitting between Karolvag and Saket. No, this is not going to work because the person who is from Dwarka is sitting between Karolvag and Mehroli. So third option goes us wrong. So we will mark with the third one. Let's see ne the next question. Next question is the sequence of numbers we have. And we have to study the questions and then give the answer. One thing to notice while doing these questions is that we have to solve the arrangement and we are getting at least three to four questions to based on the same arrangement. So let's see with the next one. How many such threes are there are given in the arrangement each of which is preceded as well immediately followed by an even digit means even digit is this and even is there. So let's see. 3 8 is even but 1 is not even the next 3 8 is even and 4 is also even 1 8 2 is even but not 5 then comes the 3 1 we have to see the 3 2 is even but not the 7 then if we talk about this 3 both are odd then if we talk about this one we have one odd and this is one even so there is only one pair that is 8 3 and 4 which satisfies the above condition so answer will be second next how many twos are there in the given arrangement each of which is immediately followed by a perfect square we have to talk about the twos which is followed by the perfect square so if we talk about this two this eight is not a perfect square then the next one this 2 is also not this is also not there 8 is not a perfect square this is not going to work but 2 and 4 because 4 is a perfect square of 2 so this will work out with then 2 and 9 so this will also work out because 9 is a perfect square of 3 so we have 2 numbers that means we will mark the option number 3rd next which of the following is 5th to the left of the 16th digit from the left end so we have to calculate the net because both are same we will subtract it left end we have to calculate 16 minus 5 that means 11 11 from the left end so which number do we have that is that number we have is 8 so we are going to mark the option number Four. Next we have how many fives are there in the given arrangement each of which is immediately followed by a digit which has a numerical value less than 3. Either we need 0, 1, 
2. So, followed by 1, 2, 0, 1 or 2. But we don't have any 0, so we will look for only 1 and 2. So, if we go with this, so here we have this one arrangement, second arrangement, then only two arrangements we have because we need less than three. So, the answer we are going to mark is two, that is first option. Let's see the next one. If all the even digits are deleted from the given arrangement, which of the following eighth will be the eighth from the right end of the arrangement? Eight from the right end. So, let's do it. If all the even numbers are deleted. So, we have to delete all the even numbers. So, if we delete all the even numbers. So, we are left with the sequence somewhat. So, we have to calculate the ninth element from, uh, sorry, eighth element from the right end. So, that is enough for us, I guess. So, if we calculate these are 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, we get 3. So, we are going to mark the 3 option. Let's see, that is option number 5. Next, we have, again we have 7 person. They are sitting in the ascending order of their salaries. So, let's make the arrangement. N earns more than L and D. Next, N earns more than A, but he does not earn the highest. So, we have N and more than L also. It's an, uh, uh, sorry, it's an ascending order. So, we are going to mark it as L, D, A also is more than, less than N. A earns more than L, that is okay. The person who received the second highest salary receives the salary of this is the second highest, while the third lowest received this much. K le, uh, earns less than L but more than D. So, D should be over here. It's a, so, the sequence somewhat like this. Next, we have D earns rupees 18 thousand so it is the lowest of all because third lowest is 23 so means c will be somewhat air and d is not the lowest one so that means c is there let's see who is left the one who is left is b and he will be the highest reason being it is clear that n does not earns the highest salary the person who earns the second highest is 35,000 and the lowest third lowest is 23,000 and C is 18,000 somewhere. Then next is the person who among the following earns more than 23,000 but less than 35,000. So that we have L and A the option number third. Next is who among the following may earn rupees 21. So that means we have D an option. It can earn because it has the range of between 18,000 and 23,000. Then the option will be D. Means second. Next we have who among the following earns rupees 35,000. 35,000 we have N. So the answer will be the fifth one N. So these are the sum of the questions we had done with the arrangement for the banking. Hope. The session will be quite useful for us and definitely next time we will come up with the new different chapters so that you that will be helpful in the bank exams. Thank you.